Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm at a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it all... Oh my god, you are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. You know that feeling, where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them? Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed... When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that s It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around... Lonnie came over today. But everything was... different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally... Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dyeing hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome and everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound between two songs Lonnie leaned over and said how do you like your first show I was so happy I felt tears starting in my eyes and then she up and hugged me I think she could tell at Todd's brother's place after the show there was only a futon to sleep on so Lonnie and I shared it the lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust. And then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer pro... Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining... They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus... I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti... Katie, you know how mom and dad are. Not exactly super open-minded about things. It feels like every minute I don't spend with Lonnie, I spend worrying about... I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never gonna need to have. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. 
but he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were... Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be... I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. She's really going to be... gone. Just gone. in my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. <laughs> 